Everybody, welcome to the Hacker News Music. Thanks to HacksRadio.com, the stream the FBI listens to. 17-year-old boy, first up in the headlines here. Craziness, hackers running wild. Let's get to the post. 17-year-old hacker uh, arrested for hacking into KPN Mobile Technologies. Uh, evidently has also been accused of other breaches in Japan and Korea and Norway. The teenager was arrested last Tuesday in the Dutch town of Berendrecht, where police seized an encrypted computer, two laptops, and other storage media, including external hard drives, DVDs, and USB sticks. The arrested teenager called himself XS. Uh, Yoshoika and Yui online is also suspected of bre breaching security of Tokohu University in Japan, as well as hacking computers at the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology and at Trondheim University in Norway. Last but not least, he reportedly ran a website used for selling stolen credit card data. Outstanding. And this up, Dominican Republic police have arrested six anonymous hackers. Dominican Republic police have arrested at least uh, six hackers. Uh, linked to anonymous and accused by the authorities of attacking websites of state and private companies. Public prosecutor German Vasquez alleges six hacked into government websites, including ones for president and education ministry. He says the suspects range in age between 17 and 23. And all you Facebookers, Facebook profiles can be hijacked by a Chrome extension malware. Cyber criminals are uploading malicious Chrome browser extensions to the official Chrome website store and use them to hijack Facebook accounts, according to security researchers from Kaspersky Lab. The rogue extensions are advertised on Facebook by scammers and claim to allow changing the color of profile pages, tracking profile visitors, or even removing social media viruses. The attacks manifest as suggestions to download Facebook apps. These apps are, alas, not real. Instead, they are malware, and in one case, a malware-laden Chrome extension hosted in Google's very own Chrome web store. To do that, they must follow a series of steps, which includes installing a fake Adobe Flash Player Chrome extension. The launch pad for the fake Flash Player is a Facebook app called Apprenda. If Apprenda is installed, it redirects users to Chrome Web Store, encouraging them to install fake Flash extensions. Over to China now. Chinese hacker has been arrested for leaking 6 million logins from CDSN. The biggest hacking case in China's Internet history, police have arrested a man suspected of leaking personal information about more than 6 million users. The suspect, surnamed Zheng, was nabbed in... Wenzhou, East China's Zhejiang province, on February 4th after an investigation into the case. Beijing News is reporting. And what else do we have here? More hacker news. They're running wild. Microsoft is censoring the Pirate Bay links on Windows Live Messenger. Microsoft has decided to block exit access to the Pirate Bay from Windows Live Messenger. When users try to send an instant message to a friend with a link from Pirate Bay, Windows Live Messenger displays a warning saying that the link is blocked because it was reported as unsafe. We block instant messages if they contain malicious or spam URLs based on intelligence algorithms, third-party sources, and or user complaints. Pirate Bay URLs were flagged by one or more of these and were consequently blocked. Good lord. It's just craziness. Hackers running wild. That is the most recent hacker news, folks. And again, many thanks to HacksRadio.com for the techno jive to get us started and wrap it up. Step up another place for getting wine. Aye, yeah, we're wild and wicked. Kick with vibes kicking. 